Hi everyone, so I know we primarily talk about web development and software development on this channel, but recently I've been getting more and more into data in the fields of data like data science, data analytics, data engineering. And in this video, we're going to discuss a proper roadmap on how you can become a data analyst. But before that, let's discuss the future of data analytics. Is data a good field to get into right now? Or should you go into web development, full stack web development, those kind of things? Or should you get into data? So let's get a clarity on that. So first of all, I want you to understand that data is everything. Everything that you see around you, you have data associated with that. Data is the future. The world runs on data. The biggest corporations run on data. So data is a key factor in the growth of the entire world. And once you become a data analyst, which the video is about, you will be doing the work of collecting data, analyzing data, manipulating data, visualizing data. So you will be helping the companies, you'll be helping the companies that you work into make data driven decisions. So the, the one who holds the data is the one who holds the power. So definitely data is a field right now that you can get into. It is a very lucrative field because majority of the companies are in need of good data analysts and they're paying high salaries for that. The demand of data analysts have been increasing with that the salaries have been increasing and you see consistently data analysts getting up to 50, 60, 70 LPA plus salaries. So definitely it is a good field that you go into, which is going to have a good future as well. And one more thing is that once you become a data analyst, you can go further into the world of data. You can even switch your profile. You can become a data scientist. You can go into data engineering. So the entire world of data becomes open to you. But first things first, how do you become a data analyst? What are the skills that you require? And more importantly, what resources do you need for that? So everything we'll be discussing in this video. The first thing that I'll start off with is something that a lot of people don't talk about, and that is math and statistics. Now, I know a lot of people will tell you that you don't need maths and statistics for becoming a data analyst. That is something that is not needed. But my opinion is a bit different. You need to have at least the basic idea of maths and statistics to become a data analyst. Like imagine what kind of data analyst will you be if someone gives you data and they ask you to calculate mean, median, mode, standard deviation, and you don't know how to do that. That is not going to be a good thing, right? So you need to know the basics of mathematics. You need to know how to handle data in mathematics. You know, need to know statistics. You need to know probability and you need to know these basic things. So the resources of what you need to learn and the most important topics will be in the description. So go check out the description box for the resources and the most important topics. So the first thing you need to have a good basic hand in mathematics and statistics. And what I mean is I want you to understand what statistics mean. Like when we were in school, we used to just memorize the formula that mean is this, median is this, mode is this. But I don't want you to memorize the formula. I want you to actually understand what is the point of the calculation? Why do we do that calculation? And what purpose does it serve? So once you start understanding that, it will give you a better hand in dealing with data, basically. Okay. So as you guys can see, becoming a data analyst can be pretty tough, especially if you want to crack a company like Google or Amazon, which is why Cryo has come up with fellowship program in next gen data analytics along with AI, in which they'll be teaching you everything related to data. They'll be teaching you Python, NumPy, and Panda. They'll be teaching you data visualization tools like Microsoft Power BI and Tableau. They'll be teaching you big data and data engineering. They'll be teaching you ML and AI, basically everything related to data you'll be getting to learn in this course. And apart from that, they have some industry grade projects in there as well. So you get hands-on learning. So you'll be working as a stock analyst at Zerodha. You'll be working like a data analyst at Uber and you'll be getting hands-on learning on real world projects. And the best part is that they teach you AI and ML, which helps you become a 10x data analyst. And apart from that, the best part is that they also teach you DSA, which is, which is very essential for cracking the top companies. And apart from all of this, Cryo has an amazing placement record. And a lot of Cryo's learners have gotten placed into a variety of companies, as you can even see on the screen. So definitely, if you want to become a good data analyst at your dream company, then this is a course that you should definitely check out. I've given a link in the description. From there, you can check the course out, see it for yourself. So go click the link in the description and book a free trial now. Now, once you become good with basic maths, basic statistics, then the next thing that you need to learn is Excel. Now, Excel is quite a powerful tool and yet a lot of people underestimate it. A lot of people don't use Excel to its true potential. So definitely Excel is something that you will be using as a data analyst for doing a lot of things with data because Excel is pretty easy to work with. 
So instead of you know writing a lot of code, doing extra work, you can just go into Excel, write a couple of functions, and make a couple of formulas, put a couple of formulas, and get the same work done that you will be doing in the IDE with your code. So definitely Excel is something that you should learn. So you should be looking at some important functions. You should be knowing how to use functions. You should be knowing how to like use the formulas. What are the important formulas? You need to learn them. You need to learn how to make pivotal charts, how to make pie charts, how to visualize data in Excel. These are the things that will definitely help you. Now, again, what resources do you need to learn Excel? What are the most important topic? Again, they will be in the description box. You can check them out from there. Now, once you're done with Excel, you get the hang of it. You start to understand what data is, how does data work. The next thing that you need to do is you need to learn coding. Now, I know a lot of people will again tell you that you don't need to learn coding if you're a data analyst, but no, you do need to learn coding if you want to become a good data analyst because you will be needing to use code in order to do a lot of processing on data. So what I'll suggest is that you learn Python so you can learn Python as your programming language. Now, first start off with the basic syntax of Python, get good with the basic syntax, like how does functions work, how does for loop work, what are some basic data structures that we use for storing data. Once you become good with the basic syntax of Python, then you need to learn two things. And those two things are NumPy and Panda. So these are the two main things that are used for manipulation or processing of data. Once you become good with these two things, then one thing that I'll suggest to you is make a project on this. Projects are the best way of learning and it makes sure that you understand the practical implementation rather than just, you know, mugging up the theory. So once you're done with Python basic syntax, once you understand and learn NumPy and Panda, make a good project. If you want some good project suggestions, I'll give a few in the description box. But you can just think of it yourself. You can just look around you, find a problem statement, and then use Python to solve that. And if you make a good project, you can even store it in your resume. That will again help you in getting shortlisted once you go for the interviews of data analysts. So learn Python properly, learn NumPy's, learn Pandas. That is important. Now, the next thing that you need to learn is some data visualization tools. So the two most important data visualization tools or the ones who have the most hold on the market right now are Power BI and Tableau. So these are the two most important tools which are used for creating interactive dashboards, which are basically data visualizations or representation of data that people can share with each other. Right. And Power BI is by Microsoft. So if you learn Power BI properly, it will be easy for you because it really integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft like products like Office, Azure, things like that. So Power BI is something that you should definitely learn. Likewise, you have Tableau and Power BI's popularity has been increasing quite well recently. So don't skip out on Power BI. And then I'll suggest you can learn Tableau as well. Okay. And once you learn one thing, it becomes easier to learn the other. So you can start off with Power BI, learn it properly, and then you can learn Tableau as well. Okay. Tableau has some more advanced features. And again, both of these things you can use to visualize the data. So this is sort of the part of data visualization. Okay. Now, where do you learn both of these things? How do you learn both of these things? I've given some great resources from YouTube itself. So I've given a great playlist in the description box from there. You can check the playlist out and see step by step Power BI and then see step by step Tableau how to work with it. Now that brings me to the last skill that you need for becoming data analyst. The last, but definitely not the least, not at all. The last thing that I have for you is SQL, which is structured query language. Now, before going into SQL, I definitely suggest that you learn the basics of DBMS, like how does databases work? Because it is a precursor to learning SQL. If you directly jump into SQL, you'll not understand a couple of things. So I'll suggest that you have a little bit of understanding of DBMS, a little bit of theory part before you move into SQL. Now, SQL is very interesting to work with, and it is something that is very easy to learn. Also, a lot of people will say that SQL is complex, but honestly, if you just, if you're interested to learn SQL, then definitely it's not going to be difficult for you. So the best website for SQL of all time is just w3schools.com. So you use SQL to manipulate the data. You use SQL to manipulate the data in the databases and pretty much the majority of data are stored in databases, right? That's how we work with data. We store them in databases and you can use SQL to manipulate that data from the database. So go to w3schools.com and the best part about w3schools.com is that they have their own databases. So you can make live changes into their databases by running queries on their server 
and you'll get to know you'll get to see live how those changes are happening so jump off to w3schools.com just start from the basics select query where clause all of these things then you can move to the most advanced topic at every point you'll have some exercises you'll have some practical questions make sure that you solve them before going on to the next topic and if you want more knowledge about how you can master sql then i've made an entire video where i've discussed how i learned sql within 15 days so i'll give a link to that video as well you can check that out as well but in a nutshell the only thing you need for mastering sql is w3schools.com if you need help with a little bit of theory then again i'll give a playlist in the description where you'll get some theoretical knowledge about sql so that it becomes easier to understand now once you know sql and once you know the previous skills everything that i mentioned now you're at a place that you can call yourself a data analyst but one thing that i'll still suggest is work more on projects okay so you can work on projects side by side and side by side you can start applying okay so you can go on linkedin you can start be asking people for referrals you can connect with many people and then you can go for the interviews and before going for the interviews you can just search for the top 50 top 100 interview questions that will be a good practice you can take mock interviews you can see like previous interview questions things like that and that will be enough of practice for you to crack the interviews so that's pretty much it all in all if you learn all of these skills if you work well on them if you make good products definitely very easily you can become a data analyst at your dream company so that's pretty much it if you have any doubt or if you want to know more about any other data field then feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to make a video about it or I'll be happy to reply to you in a comment or in DM, whatever feels good for you. So that's all. Thank you.